the middle push pause. Okay, so this technique is known as Hasami. I'm just going to get straight into it, not too much talk. I'm going to show you how to do the technique, best way to do it. And then I'm going to show you different variations or how you can do it. And then I'm going to show you also on the ground what you mean to do once you get down there. Keep in mind the optimum thing that you want to do is to smash his head into the cement. That is the optimum thing. Uh, most of the time we put them into the, onto their back for it's a nice point, etc. And it can also be considered a throw or a takedown. A takedown is basically when his feet do not leave the ground. <laughs> or you can throw him where his feet do leave the ground. This is known as Hasami Crab Technique. It was one of the uh, forbidden techniques in Judo because it smashes your leg, it's, it rips your calf muscle, and, and uh, sorry, tears your knee, right? The ligaments in your knee. And that happens quite a bit. And I'll show you why that happens and how you can actually do it so that that does happen every single time, you know? Because remember the optimum carnage is what you're looking for. Love of violence, fucking love of violence and maximum prejudice, right? So optimum carnage when you're doing something. Keep in mind also that when you're throwing someone, you are also going to the ground. So this could be considered a, uh, um, a Sutemi Waza technique, such as a sacrifice technique as well. Okay, so pause. I'll, demonst I'll demonstrate the throw. Now just keep in mind, this is the first thing I've done since my Instagram. I just want to put out there, I'm slowly getting rid of my Instagram because they keep banning me for my political views and calling our Prime Minister a cunt. So fucking getting banned for that. So we're going to move, I'm just being honest, going to move across to uh, YouTube, right? And I'm going to sort of start throwing things across. So I'm not in a hurry. On Instagram, I'm always in a fucking hurry. Right, so I'm going to demonstrate it, and then I will show you how to do it. I'm not locking him down. I'm just doing the throw. So we'll do it from, so you can see this side. I can do it from my arm drag if I want. Not in a hurry. We're not in a hurry. It's not fucking Instagram. So we'll do it from here too. Keep in mind there are many ways you can get into it once you're doing your thing in it. <laughs> and I'll show you a couple. I just want you to see it from here. I'm doing it off an arm drag. Yeah. Huh. Over the top. Behind one jump. Yeah. Sure. Now. Mm. Now I'll show you how to do it. All right, and I'll point out factors that are quite important. When you're doing it real slow, start off just doing it like this. Side on your opponent. Make sure your opponent covers his nuts. Important. Especially when you're beginning, because you're going to hit your opponent's nuts quite a bit. All you're going to do is you put your right foot in front of him. There we are. Put your left foot behind here, just that way. In many instances, it's the exact same as you're doing a left, as you're doing a side kick. A skipping side kick where I step in behind my opponent there. Uh, I'm going to stay there, bro. Just so I can see my feet. I step in behind, and then I kick. Same thing here, in behind, oh, kick. Boom, here, I'm going in behind. Put my hand on the ground, leave my hand up here. Put my foot behind, bring my leg up. Do not bring it down here. You're only locking the knee, though you can lock here, it's not the throw that we're doing. So be sure that you can hit one, two, hand on ground, three goes high, and four. Bam. What will do it to me? It's got a weird white glow down upon that screen, see that? Yeah. It's the sun, I'm sure, eh? Nice relax, I'll put my hands were nuts. <laughs> Key points to remember, you need to have your leg in a, above his knee, against the waist, and your other knee behind the back of the legs. It's more to do with the pull than it is to do with the twist. You want your ass behind your opponent. So when I do this here to Will, hands up. I'm here, my ass must be behind him. Uh, see I'm side on to him, and my leg comes up. There's no pressure to make Will go this way but there is when i'm at my ass just behind it so that's how you want to do it when you're doing it you want to be sure that as you're jumping up it's you're hitting with your leg your leg going backwards then you are just fucking throwing yourself at him right and often you'll see like this hand up uh, and that's how that throw goes in hand up and you can see where i put it right 
Another way to do it is you just go here. I take out that leg. As he stands back up. Ha. Shoo. Shoo. Hand grips. Yeah. When you're coming around your opponent, what you really want to be doing is this. Fish hooking. Or you take the chin. Or ha. If he has here, you take the here. Yeah. You grab whichever handle you have available to help you. Do not set your mind in cement and it must only be here, etc. I can do this to Will with his hand here, while I'm here, 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 here. I can also do it here. For example, even though you wouldn't really do this, but it's, he puts his arm around me like Brennan Club. What's up? Pop, pop, push, shoo. Now, points to remember. Thumbs up. Hitching with the leg. Hitching with the leg. And you are launching yourself into the air. Clearly start with your hand on the ground. One, two, three type thing. But ultimately you're going to get to a point where you can do the jumping, flying one. I'll do that to Will now. Six minutes. This one will be a foot. <laughs> Visitors. Carrying on. These have all subcategories. I'll show a couple. First subcategory will be the leaping. Don't try this unless you really are good at what you're doing. Right. Unless you really understand how it works. Other subcategory. Coming up. So you can be here. Ha ha ha. Bam. Hook. I do the same thing. Very easy to throw. Get that foot in deep. Okay, so recap before we go to the ground. How you get here is up to you. I find it's easier to do it off the arm drag as a beginner. Before you start going. Right, before you do that shit, just get it down nicely. Pull. Energy this way. There's a part of will that's going to land on the inside of my thigh. As I'm up here, my ass goes back. You can see how I'm pulling will that way. And then it gives my ass time to get behind will for my other leg. Bam! And I pull him down. Now we're on the ground. I'll show you how to lock that up. I'm putting it over here because there's some sun here. It seems to be fucking with stuff. Okay, so I'm going to take Will down. I'm going to put him in that position. Now remember, when you're taking your opponent down, you're not necessarily trying to take him directly backwards. This is something you must understand. It's water, okay? We're not trying to make the body go, ah, right? There's a certain amount of strength and resistance he has when doing that. However, we're trying to make the body go angle this way. That's why I throw my hand on the top of Will's shoulder. I'm not bringing him directly straight to me. It's about a 45 angle out. This is because here and here you're quite strong. You've already got this balance being hit here as your leg comes up and pushes you back. Look at your balance when you go onto the side. And that's more what we're wanting. We're only ever wanting a little bit of the Kazushi. Just a wee bit of balance. Now remember in Clark that, we put that pain on. We punch the guy, we head butt him, we impact him, we fucking squeeze the flesh. So when we come over, we fish hook that face, we grab what we can. If he's got a cauliflower ear, by the love of God, grab that golf ball. Thank you very much. And go for it and bring him back. Be careful when you bring him back because your hand on your nuts will straighten your crutch. There's a fine line and you must keep your legs quite taut together. So as you go in and you pull him backwards and you tip your legs up, you must keep some type of um, safe distance between your thighs. Don't go back with wide open legs. You'll quickly learn why. Okay, so here we are. I'm um, taking him back, eh? Wish I could do that. <laughs> Fuck, I Nobody will see me. <laughs> so we'll just, I'll just take him all back for the sake of, you know, doing whatever ha, pull him that we do. I'll just take all back gently so that we don't smash. Boom. Now, as we've got the rock back, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep Will on his back so we switch to there. My left leg pushes off the ground. This keeps Will backwards on his back so it gives me time to work with figure four here, right? There's a few things we can do here. If we haven't just pulled his head back and smashed, remember we're sitting like this and we go, this leg here pushes off the ground. So we're trying to keep him as a fucking... Uh, 
where it's an anatomically weak position as possible, right? Now from here, I don't just pull on this, I want to isolate first. So this leg here, which was over here, right, comes under, and then what happens, it catches off. See, I just close it, I just go slam hard onto that leg, and I take this one, I figure for it, and I squeeze this foot under Will's ass. I am trying to squeeze onto this leg as much as possible and thrust my groin into there and you'll see that I can actually turn it to the side there. I always want to turn the heel up. Up. And even here. Now, I can pass this over to here. If we get a bit of resistance and there's some shit not going well, we just simply pass that over here and we take it sideways and we can snap the knee very, very easily. Okay. Other thing. Have Will here. Boom. You can do this, you have to see how my feet go. Check that leg out, right? So I keep that one there, and I want to take this one out over the top of this one, shoot it through, and then cross my feet. Turn around. See how I've crossed my feet there? I shoot it through, I cross the feet, and then I pull on this. That doesn't work without this base here. I push my legs away, I'm trying to calf crunch well. It's not gonna happen unless I have a pressure or a base that I can pull on. So now I'm doing a two-way action and I can crunch it on very, very, very quickly. After that one goes, I pull this back to here, lock that on, and you can go into your knee bar, knee bar, ankle, etc. Not finished. If you come down with your opponent's head, and here, sometimes I'll come down like this, come over the back of his head, grab your own uh, cable kai, I guess, wrist, and pull that motherfucker in as hard as you can. Now keep in mind, we're trying to destroy him as much as possible. This is more to submit, yeah? So what you're really looking for is a strong head. Now, if Will rolls, I follow that knee, other way, Will. I stop. I follow that knee. As it bends over here, he starts to roll. I can take that ankle there. I continue to roll with him, and I'll always end up in the same position here, right? If I'm not going to do it, I'm going to kill his block. So, probably a bit far away from you there. Okay, 12 minutes, one more time. Uh, 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 uh. Take him down softly. Sure, here. Crunch on, quickly split that leg, figure four that motherfucker, and away you go. Huh. All right. Anything else? Yeah, yeah. I think that's, that's about it, eh? Without going into details and choking with the shirt and shit, we're all good. Um, any other way to show them in? <laughs> yeah, let's try that. Okay, so at the end of this, here's just some different ways of getting into it. You should be able to always apply your throw from any position. And that doesn't necessarily mean set and sedine. Predetermined response, pain withdrawals, um, flinch response, all of these things come into play. All right. So, you should be able to do it for when man seizing you, coming on under, impacting, locking up his arm, use it as a um, damage control. So you throw someone down, he stands back up and you put it on. It's, um, oh, and also, I should show you how to tear that knee. All right, so look, if he does double hand, you can just go like that, wham, and you're in. I won't throw a wheel, I'll just demonstrate by putting my leg up there, and as it comes across, you know, that's quite simple to see that my other leg's gonna come under. I'll do this five or six times to you, mate, and you're going to be like, please stop doing that. Okay, so <laughs> i got to take into account my fucking health of my student. Right. So here we do it from the knee. There's no difference here. Now, this time, say you've got your twi clinch on. Sit up, sit up. And he goes to pass it through. Right, so he goes to re-clinch. He breaks out of the clinch and slides back in. Boom. There. How simple is fucking that now? Over. Sure. And then from here, push up. Knee. Bam! Boom! Mm. Uh. Stop that one. Bam! There. Other side. Here. Hands up. Impact. Impact. Push. And you're in. Out of any time you take someone's wrist, any time you've got this, that going on, clear it out of the fucking way and jump on in. Alright. You can sweep the guy's foot. So this time you say you're going from here. It didn't work. Push. There you go, there. Boom, ha. Hip throw, ha. Sit around. Pull up, yeah. Under you go. All right. When you know how to do this, you know how to do it so they roll forwards as well, okay? So now you're gonna take the knee. Uh, no, I think it's probably a bit much. No, 
All right, just be careful not to land on the knee, eh? So, be sure that when you come up here, if you want the knee, you got to go like this. I'm going to do this slow. Ha! Feel that? Yep. <laughs> that will happen accidentally to beginners that go like this. <laughs> and they get all tangled up and they kind of fall on it that way. See that? Yeah. If you want to break it, you go here. You see it? Crap! I'll go here. Pop. Feel that? Yep. Smash. No, no, no. 